Hello Bakers and welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking how exactly you can create a 3D model based on a concept. We are going to look into a technique inside 3ds Max that will help you model quick and faster. Now without further ado, let's roll the intro. So we're going to start, as I mentioned, inside 3ds Max. And what I will do is first we are going to get our concept inside our viewport. I'll just maximize our viewport by using Alt and W as a shortcut. And I'll go into front view, I'm gonna create a plane. At the moment we are not going to bother uh, with the size of it because uh, we are going to change it after we put our image. And now I'm just going to minimize like this my max and here I already have on the desktop the image which I want to use so I'm just going to drag and drop it on top of the plane and to get the correct sizes so that uh, we know that the concept is in the correct proportions uh, we are going to just right click go to properties and see on the details what are the dimensions so now I'm going to just make it point eight and then the other part is 1.6 so now we know that uh, the dimensions and proportions are correct going to maximize our 3ds max and now we can already scale it a little bit so we don't work with uh, some very small models of course if you have uh, some sizes on your concept or something which is uh, for measurements you can always scale it so that it gets into the correct size on this one we don't have such thing so what I'm going to do we are just going to start model as this I will move it a little bit towards the back and uh, what you can do is uh, you can start either from creating a box and modeling from there or what I like to do is actually to start modeling from plane so I'm going to go into our create menu, then plane, and I'm going to start on one of the sides. So I'm going to pick the yellow one to uh, model on top because just it's a little bit easier in terms of lines to read. And uh, then we can decide which one exactly we want to texture. So uh, I'm going to start by creating a plane. We don't need to have uh, any of the segments, so I'm just going to uh, remove those segments for our plane. And then, so that we can see through the plane, what we need to do is use Alt plus X. This is going to enable a transparency mode, which will allow us to see through the plane so that we can exactly check what's on the concept behind. Then we are going to right click and convert it to editable poly. And now we can start already adjusting and putting it exactly where we would like to. So I can just go into vertices and do something like this. So uh, here I will suggest you like to model everything based on where are the lines. So let's say here we will have this like that. And then I'm going to go into edge, hold shift and this will extrude my edge. I'm going to move this all the way to here. Okay, and now since we already have some element, uh, what we need to do is start looking into from different perspectives. And this is the trick that I actually wanted to show you and the one why I wanted to make this video. So uh, once you get to a search element, we already are following a little bit uh, how some of the lines of the car are moving, but this is only from one perspective. We don't do anything in any of the other dimensions. So now when we need to clone it, I'm just going to hold shift and move it to the view which we would like to put uh, our next element. Once we get our clone options, instead of making a copy, we are going to make an instance. This is an important part of uh, this process because if we make a copy, those two are not going to be linked. But if we are doing an instance, this means that if we change from one of those elements, we are going to change uh, the rest of the copies as well. And I will show you why this is important. So now that we have it cloned, 
uh, we just are uh, gonna use the snap tool and rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm going to move it and try to align it to the correct position so this goes almost all the way to the bottom so now if I go into my vertex selection and start moving the vertices like this so that we start following the curves of the car correctly and now if we look to the upper element you can see that it also is banded this is because we cloned it as an instance and as an instance if we influence and change one of these objects it will change the other ones as well we need to just make sure that, that the assets and the way that we are doing things are correctly oriented and this way we can create even more variations so we have in all the perspectives set it up our model and we can view it from different directions and better align it to the concept that we have i'm going to do this for the other viewports as well so we're gonna just clone this on the side for the front view rotate it 180 degrees go front and we are placing it on the correct side And if we would like, we can always do this for the top view as well. It doesn't matter which one of the elements we are going to take because anyway, all of them are linked together. So let's just clone the first one. Perfect. One more thing that uh, I wanted to mention about uh, this method of modeling. So first is if this grid is bothering you while you're inside 3ds Max, you can always hit the G key, which will hide it. So this way, this is something which uh, is not going to uh, be in the way of modeling. And also remember to move the plane a little bit towards the back. So everything that we are modeling at the moment, it's going uh, on the zero. And if you have your plane on the zero or towards the front, you are not going to be able to see really well what's happening. So you need to really move it a little bit towards the back. And another thing is if we would like to add other element, what we can do is either we can come, for example, inside this one, and let's say I would like to just uh, clone one of the polygons, but uh, we are not going to clone it as a separate object, but instead I'm going to clone it as a separate element. This in the latest versions of 3ds Max is done by holding both Shift plus Control. So if you're holding just Shift, remember that on the latest versions it's just extrude. And you can see that uh, on the other sides that we have uh, duplicated, everything is uh, being exactly the same. So it's also cloning this. As long as we clone it as an element, it's also going to be cloned. So this is option A for if we would like to have a different plane. And generally, if you're modeling uh, cars or other uh, technical elements that have uh, many different parts, I recommend you to do it by different uh, pieces, the way that it was assembled. Or the other thing that we can do is if I create, for example, another plane, I'm going to go into front view and or let's create a cylinder for our uh, rims. So if I create a cylinder like this and then we select the object, go into attach and then attach it, you will see that it appeared in all the other views on the correct position so that we can continue from there on to model it. Thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope that these tips and tricks were helpful and useful for you to start modeling based on references or concepts. Subscribe and like this video. See you next time.